Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and use your dip pens to start producing some lines and some practice. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a bottle of India ink, you're going to need a crow quill pen, uh, the more flexible nib is nice to have, but if you have the more rigid nib, that's fine as well. Um, you definitely want some paper towels around, uh, mostly just to wipe your pen off, but also I like to rest my ink on a paper towel, so that way when I open this bottle, I'm not like allowing the top part to just kind of roll around the desk, so it can kind of just sit on the paper towel off to the side. Um, it's actually off camera right now, so... I have it on paper towels, so don't worry. Um, a container of ink is nice just to wash out your nib at the end, but you really don't need that very much. And then just printer paper to start. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the more flexible nib. And the first thing I'm going to do is dip it into the ink. So remember that you wanna dip the pen in just deep enough that it goes over that little opening, okay? Now, if you dipped yours in further, really try not to dip it up um, to where the pen holder is, but if you dipped it up further, what I want you to do is just go ahead and turn it so the concave part where the ink is being stored is facing upward, and then just take the paper towel and just take the edge of it and just wipe off the excess ink off the top there, so that way it's not gonna mess with anything. Okay, you don't wanna um, wipe it too far, especially on the more flexible nibs, because then they won't start, they won't produce ink when you start to press down on them. So just be careful, you don't wanna wipe this whole area off. You'll suck the ink out of that little storage space that's in there. Okay, so you want to hold your pen with your, ten, your, with your thumb over top, and you wanna pull it horizontally like this. Notice how I have set myself up so that way when I push down on it, the prongs will be parallel to each other. That's really, really important. Um, if you pull it this way, okay, like you would a pencil, what will happen is the nibs will start to cross over each other like this and then they won't work. Um, it's really important that the nibs stay parallel and that you're pulling them in the direction that you want the line to go so that way um, the ink just kind of flows out really nicely, okay? Um, so you can't pull it to the side like this. It, they'll start to cross and then it won't work. If you get a nib and you notice that someone has used it that way because the prongs are crossing over each other like this, um, you should just bring it to me. We can throw it out and get you a new one. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this this way. I'm gonna go ahead and start up at the top of my paper and I'm just gonna put a little bit of pressure Nope, I need to load a little more ink in there. Sorry about that. Okay. Ooh, still not working. Okay, there we go. And I'm just going to pull it across. Okay. So I'd like you to just get used to making lines first. Okay. And then I'd like you to start to think about okay, well, I can make thicker lines by pressing harder. Then when that happens, I'm gonna teach you how to join a line. So to join a line, you're gonna go ahead, dip your pen back in the ink, a little extra on the top there, so I'm gonna just turn this over and wipe that off. And then I'm gonna go back on the line, so you don't wanna start like right where it ran out. You wanna go back on your line, and then continue it out. Okay, now I have a little bit of an ink blot there just because I was moving a little too slowly and pressing a little too hard. Um, We'll talk more about fixing those mistakes when they happen, but you want to try and keep a nice even pressure and just pull it evenly across the paper. Okay, that was a good one. And just kind of practice. Okay, now I have another spot where it ran out, so I'm going to go ahead, dip this in, um, turn it upside down, and just take my paper towels and wipe off that extra ink at the top there. I'm going to go back on the line, okay, and I'm just going to do thin pressure, and then once I feel good about the pressure, go ahead and pull it across. And so that really does take practice. Okay, so I have a series of good thick lines. Once you feel good about your thick lines, you should go ahead and move on to the packet. Next thing I'd like you to do is focus on thin lines, so less pressure. These are a little bit harder to join, just to give you the heads up. So I'm going to go back on the line, press lightly, and continue. Okay, do some thin lines. And then practice on, you know, just kind of keeping your lines nice and straight and horizontal. You know, present, pretend you're drawing out um, composition paper. And then once you feel good about your thin lines, find your packet, go ahead, whoop, okay, 
ran out there, find your packet and then just go and produce some nice confident thin lines in that packet. Once you're done with your thin lines on your packet, the next thing I'm going to have you move on to, I'm just going to pull my paper up a little bit here, is making lines that go from thick to thin, thick to thin, alternating thickness. Okay, and this kind of really shows you what the dip pens and the flexible nibs are really great for, is being able to change your line weight, and they just are so nice and fluid when you do that. This is going to be great for when we start to draw with them because you're going to be able to really use the line to control um, how the form appears um, by accentuating that with the weight of the line. So just really have fun with that. And then once you feel good about it, go ahead and do some thin to thick to thin to thick to thin to thick lines on your packet. The last thing we're going to do is lines that taper. So lines that taper are going to be thick and then, whoops. Thick and then you're just going to lightly pull up until they fade off to nothing. And so this again is helping you to see how the pen really works to um, control line weight. And so I'd like you to try and make that taper as gradual as you can, really starting out thick and then getting gradually thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner. Okay. And see if you can do, you know, a line that goes the whole length of the paper. Okay. Now I had a little spot there where I probably wasn't pulling it horizontally. So just be careful of that. Then you're, once you feel confident with each of those things, you can go ahead and move on to the packet. Um, or what you can do is you can um, move on to the packet in each step. So.